It's fucking bright. I just think I lost a fucking eardrum. <laughs> I love you, Colonel Sanders. A finger licking good dating sim. Here we go. Uh, welcome, Chef. Before we get started, tell us your name. All right. Uh, big uh, husky. There we go. Oh my god. Oh. All right, you sleep softly as the morning sun casts a warm glow through the window of your modest student apartment. What is this? Oh, okay, that's the... Okay, 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 resume. The world is peaceful and serene. You should stay in... You could stay in this moment forever. All right, so we got, like, a boy band above me. Or a K-pop band, maybe. Uh, Oh, you can wake up now, now, now! Your first day calling me school. There's no time to sleep in. Smack that clock up, man. Roll the clock out the window. Stay in bed for me. No, we gotta, we gotta get out of bed. We gotta get out of bed. We gotta, we gotta go. We gotta go. Right? We gotta go meet. We gotta go meet the colonel. Lying in bed, you stare at the ceiling, thinking about everything that awaits you at the prestigious University of Cooking School Academy for Learning. Your mind begins to wander. Who will be there? What will you cook? What should you wear? Time begins to fly by, and you find your imagination getting away from you. You need to take this seriously. You allow yourself to daydream a bit, thinking about the future. You know what? Let, let's let's think about this, right? We got we got to think about this a little bit. We are talking about the colonel, after all, right? We can't like. Let's, <sighs> It's here, finally. Your first day of culin culinary school. So many dishes to prepare, so many students to meet. Your mind is swimming with possibilities when you realize you're running late. You grab a biscuit and burst out the door in a hurry. <laughs> Bro, a KFC biscuit right now would do the trick, though. No joke. Mm. Delicious. Just what you needed to wake up those taste buds. Yikes! You're in such a hurry, in fact, that you forgot to put on any deodorant before running out the door. You're sweating buckets as you rush to arrive on time. Uh-oh. Ooh, standing in the quad, you gaze upon the magnificent University of Cooking School. Academy for Learning. <clears throat> Here comes your lifelong best friend forever. Miriam? She's adorable. And I must protect her at all costs. She's the most adorably awkward person you've ever met, and you absolutely love her for it. I know so many people that I could fit into that role right there. I'm not gonna say their names, I'm just gonna stare at the camera and say that, so they all think it's them. Good morning, Big Husky. Good morning, Big Husky. Are you excited for the first day of the rest of our lives? Actually, I'm... Because <laughs> I sure am. Excited. A little nervous. Okay, okay. A lot nervous. What's the... It's just that this morning I made breakfast for myself. But, well, when I ate it, I, I couldn't taste any of the love in the food. What if I'm not good? What if I fail? Classic Miriam. Raised by Master Chef parents, she's always... Uh, she's always held herself to a high standard. Oh, boy. 
Ever since we were little babies playing together and you rescued me from that quicksand box, it's been clear to me that you're the most loving, caring person I know. You're going to do great. I got stuck in a quicksand box? <laughs> but, but with University of King School and Academy for Learning's famous three-day only semester so th Wait, hold a second. <laughs> But with University of Cooking School, Academy of Learning's famous three-day-only semesters, I'm afraid of being left behind and never catching up. <sighs> Sweet girl. Miriam has always had a flair for the dramatic. This summer, she got so nervous about her first kiss that she chipped a tooth practicing on a mannequin. Oh, damn. Should you pep talk her or change the subject? Um... Pep talk your best friend. Change the subject to school gossip. Ooh, school gossip is good though. I like school gossip, but but this is the bestie, right? If it's the bestie, we got we gotta hype him up. We gotta pep him up, right? We gotta we gotta make sure that everything's okay, right? They're ready to go. It's the first day of our three days, apparently. So let's pep talk him. Remember last month when you saw the fortune teller and he had our car and he had our tarot cards read? Oh, the lady with the mask who gave me nightmares. <laughs> I've been trying to forget. I know she looks spooky, but she was so sweet and she told me that you, you, were destined for great things. I remember that card with the fancy-looking tower and the other card featuring the handsome fella in the red suit. I've been waiting so long to meet a handsome fella I can call my own. And I'm sure you will soon. In no time we'll be graduating, technically in four days, and we'll be delighting the world with our heartfelt cooking in no time at all. As you talk up Miriam, you can feel her nerves begin to ease. You know what? Maybe everything will be okay after all. And if not, at least I have these killer bangs. I mean, those are some killer bangs. Look at those. Can you believe I cut them myself? Uh, no, nah, actually, now that she says that, a little bit, yeah, 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 you can, you can definitely, you can definitely believe it, yeah, 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 I, uh, no, oh, no, oh, can't believe it, can't believe it. Before you can get another word out, you're rudely interrupted when someone smacks your books and custom engraved measuring spoons out of your hands onto the ground. Custom engraved measuring spoons, huh? I, there's so much I love about this game is being a fat kid. <gasps> hey! Ooh. It's... Aishley? I'm gonna say Aishley. It's probably Ashley, but I'm gonna say Aishley just to annoy people. It's Aishley. You're our tribal. She's totally evil. Couldn't tell. But you can't help but be filled with jealousy. She can get anything she wants. And she knows it. I mean, she can get me. <clears throat> Emma webcam's covering up her face. I thought that might happen. Hold up a second. Hey, Ashley. Oh, I didn't see you there, chicken chins. What the f- I'm gonna start calling people chicken shins. You leave Big Husky's shins alone. They're perfectly normal shins. Ugh, can't stand Ashley. Even her name is annoying. You know for a fact this Ashley Ashley, but she had to add extra letters to make herself feel better than everyone. If anyone here knows what perfect shins look like, it's us. I'm not gonna let you or your really weird insults get to us. Across the quad you see Ashley's best friend, Van Van the Man Man. <laughs> has stopped to look at his own reflection in the mirror. His pants are so tight, you can see him casually working out his glutes while he styles his hair. No light, they're rocking glutes. Ahem, <clears throat> Van Van. You rag rag. <laughs> Bro, why is this? It's in the shape of a star. You've never been sure. <laughs> You've never been sure what their arrangement is, but as long as you've known them, Aishley. 
Ashley. Ashley, Ashley. I'm just gonna say Ashley now. Fuck it. Ashley and Van Van have been just as close as you and Miriam, but substantially more devious. I can't believe the you that University of Cooking School Academy of Learning would ever allow people like you to attend as students. <laughs> I know, right? You'd think they'd just hand us our diplomas now. Or maybe hire us on as professors. You amateurs could learn a lot from us. With the first day of school about to start, there's just not time to properly tell these two off, so you resist the urge. <clears throat> Let's go, Miriam. Psh! <laughs> See you later, losers. Oh no, as you approach the door, you see a goofy-looking kid pushing hard against the window directly next to it. What is happening? I don't even know. Uh, yeah, okay. Oopsie. Oh my god, he farted, didn't he? He actually farted. That wasn't like a joke thing. He actually farted. I think it's broken. Is was broken. You reach forward and easily pull the door open. Uh, that should do the trick. I love you. I think you mean thank you. My name is Pop. I was named after my Pop Pop. He's old. You're adorable. <laughs> Could someone like this also be a student at the school? He must be one heck of a chef. Also, his name tag clearly says Bob. But I guess he's reading it upside down. Oh dear lord. I... It says Bob, but he looks down and he sees Pop. Hi, Pop. I'm Big Husky. So... Are you gonna make me hold this door all day? Nope! And with that, the young man walks in the building ahead of you. Aww. Is it just me? Or is he kind of cute? Miriam, what are you doing? What are you doing, Miriam? I think it's just you. <laughs> you both shrug your shoulders before following him into the building. 